Shumard with Integrative Wellness Center of San Diego, um, an author of How to Reverse Your Diabetes and the Thyroid Epidemic. So today I really wanted to have a, a really important conversation, especially with this day and age, especially with the, the scenario that we're in in this world that we're in right now, this pandemic and the viruses and everything. I really wanted to have a strong conversation about, you know, what is your most important asset? I talk to patients every single day in the practice and it's very interesting when I ask them these questions about what their response is. And, you know, I think, you know, when we have these conversations, it really starts to really embrace what's really important to us. And I, and I say this because, you know, one of my um, favorite hobbies I like to do is I like to um, um, research into real estate. I have a couple of uh, rental properties that is a lot of fun. I like, I like looking at properties and and really understanding the whole mechanism of uh, real estate investors and those sort of things. And one of the things that is commonly talked about in that world is working with uh, attorneys and CPAs and to really protect your assets, right? So protecting your assets, meaning protecting your either being a, a condo or a single family home, or if it's multiple um, apartment building, whatever it might be that someone owns in that real estate avenue, and there's different structures you can do. There's different, you know, corporations or LLCs and different pathways and, and where's the LLC owned and all these things that can be done as a uh, standard to protect that asset so that if somebody has a problem, maybe it's a tenant or something happens on your property that you don't get sued and you don't lose your property or they don't come after your personal property, your business or your home and those sort of things. Now, other people may say, well, an asset for me, an important asset is my family or my house that I live in because it's the only thing that I own or my car, like tangible things, right? These things are the things that we own in our life that we take care of. You know, we talk about our car. For many people, they'll take their car for their 10,000 mile checkup, 20,000, 60,000, 100,000. They change the oil, they change the tires, they're washing their car constantly or with their home, they're making sure that their home looks nice and they're cleaning the home and you know, having good landscaping and, and doing all these things to upkeep their home and their business or taking care of their business, having good employees, making sure they're able to make an income to provide food for their family and, and have the safety nets of the way that we live in this world. But we can see right now what's going on with our pandemic and the viruses that things are being turned upside down and our safety nets, if you will, are starting to become not so safe. And all the things that we thought are things that are important that we want to protect in regards to assets of things that we own and where we live and those sort of things have now started to become a little less important. Obviously, they're still important. We want to make sure we have a nice roof over our head and we can provide um, food for our family and you know we have that safe environment. But what's really happening right now, and this is something I've been talking about for a long time, I mean, this is something I've been talking about for probably 15 to 20 years now, but people oftentimes don't really take it seriously until it's too late. But we, we, if we look at the number one important asset, in my opinion, and hopefully you're on the same mindset as where I'm thinking right now, but that is your health, right? What we're seeing right now is a vulnerability. We're seeing a massive vulnerability of individuals who are suffering and God, for, uh, God forbid dying from this virus and other things that are going on in this in our world right now. And so there are many people that are getting sick, many people that are, are um, not surviving this virus, even though we have a, a, a fairly decent survival rate, but many people are dying. It's impacting their families. It's impacting many, many people's lives. And I think we have forgotten our most important asset, which is our health. Right. Think about this. Think about how much protecting we put into living in a good home or protecting our um, having a good retirement fund or taking care of our car and all these other things. There are so many things that we spend more time on, spend more money on and, and try to engage in. But we forget about us. And then when an, an environment happens where it puts us in a vulnerable state, like a virus or a disease process, and then it becomes a problem. So what this video is really all about today is, is that wherever you are in life, wherever you are in age, you could be in your teenage years, early 20s, or all the way in your 80s and 90s, 
one thing I really want to make sure we all know is that we have an ability to heal. I don't care how old you are or how young you are. We have the ability to heal. The problem is, is that the environment that our body lives in is going to make it an opportune moment or it's going to make you vulnerable. So by doing things now and eating the proper way, you know, giving yourself the proper nutrition, getting the proper amounts of exercise, getting the proper amounts of sleep, you know, reducing stress, all these things that we know are important and not just on January 1st when we're trying to create our New Year's resolution. I mean today. You can't just say, oh, well, I'll start it in two weeks when the new year starts because the holidays are coming or whatever else. If that's your mindset, I can pretty much guarantee that when that happens, you're going to start it, but you're going to quit. The reason is because you're waiting for the most opportune moments. And for what I have seen over the years and working with patients for the last 17 years, most people's opportune moments is when they are getting really, really bad. A major symptom occurs, a major health risk occurs, something breaks down inside their body and now I've got to do something about this. We work with mainly type 2 diabetics, um, thyroid conditions, autoimmune diseases, and cognitive decline, dementia and Alzheimer's. And for many, many of those individuals that I see in my practice, there will be a, a certain percentage of them that will come in and they're just not ready to do what's necessary. And they're not ready because they're not sick enough in their mind. They still feel like they're healthy because they feel healthy. What they're not looking at is what's really happening under the surface. And this is a perfect example because there are people right now that are dying from this virus that felt that they were healthy, that felt that they were doing good, doing all the right things. So obviously something was going on inside their body that they weren't aware of. Now, a majority of the people that are actually dying from these types of health issues right now have other line underlying issues, right? They have diabetes, they have autoimmune diseases, they have other problems that are going on that is leaving them vulnerable, which is another reason why you just can't sit around and wait for things to be taken care of. If you're in the mindset right now that you're waiting for someone to help you, if you're gonna wait and rely on the medical system to help you or a prescription medication, and that's your only way, well, guess what? If something does happen, you can't say it's a surprise because you weren't taking action. If you're not eating properly, if you're not getting exercise, if you're not maintaining good health, good sleep, good water intake, all these things that we talk about in our office on a regular basis, these are the types of things that are going to keep you healthy. Now, of course, even someone who's doing these things could be vulnerable, but they are less likely to be vulnerable than the individuals who are not doing this. So I think what we should be doing at this time in our life is not worrying about what could happen, but more importantly, what can you do right now? And one of the things that we do in our practice that is unique is that when we analyze someone, when we take them through the, the comprehensive analysis, we can truly understand what is causing or what is, what is dysfunctional or what is lost function inside someone's body that is contributing to their inability to be healthy. Even though they may feel healthy, there could be problems going on under the surface that you're not aware of. So what steps are you going to take today to start improving your health? Are you going to start to maybe go for a longer walk? Are you going to start putting down the cheeseburger uh, from McDonald's and start making some more quality type food at home, even though it may be more of a um, time consuming, you, know, you have to go to the grocery store, cook your own food, wash dishes, all these things are involved in that, but the process of you eating healthier is going to be a better option for you. Are you going to get to bed earlier? Right, going to bed early or not staying up late watching TV or falling asleep with the TV on? Are you going to make sure you're um, getting additional type of exercise like strength training? Are you going to make sure you're drinking water and not just the, I'm not talking about the coffees and the teas and stuff like that that has water in it. I mean, just plain old water. Are you going to increase your water intake or are you going to keep on taking the, the, the um, medications? Keep on no, just saying, I'll do it tomorrow or I'm too tired. Or, I had too much pain or whatever other excuse you're going to use. Because when you make that decision to change your life, to change your health, that's a mental motivating change. And that has to take anywhere between 21 days up to three months to create a new habit. So it has to be consistent, which means you need accountability. Trying to do these things on your own is gonna be very difficult. Not only is it difficult to figure out what is causing your problems and what's really going on inside your body, it's difficult to, to keep the course, to stay motivated, 
There are some people who have the ability to, to do that, but it's very rare. So it's not a bad thing to ask for help. So I guess the, the main thing I wanted to really inspire you with today was is to really dig down deep and ask yourself, are you truly doing everything you should be doing for your health? Or are you putting yourself on the back burner and hopefully hope and praying that nothing bad will happen to you? Because when you start to experience symptoms, when symptoms start to arise inside your body, it's not that you're sick now. The problem is already really bad by that time. That just means that your body does not have the ability to handle the symptoms anymore, the problems that are going on, which means you're worsening. So are you going to wait until symptoms occur or are you going to take a change and do something now? Because my guess is if you're kind of like me, where you have an interest in things like um, real estate, you're making the appropriate choices now before you buy the real estate to structure everything so things are protected. Just like when you bought your home, you're required to have insurance on your home. Just like when you, you, know, you buy a car, you're required to have insurance, you have protective mechanisms. Well, what are you doing to protect yourself? And if your thoughts is, well, I have health insurance and that's going to protect me, I mean, the reality is your health insurance is not there to protect you. Your health insurance is there to give you um, some, some changes and some medications when your body needs it to try to suppress the symptoms that are really going on. The only choice that you have to protect yourself is to make your own decisions to, to protect yourself today on your own by making doing the right steps. So again, what we want to do is we want to do the right steps in place. Number one, you want to make sure you do a comprehensive analysis on your body, a full workup um, to make sure that everything is functioning optimally or not. And if it's not, what do you need to do to bring it back into place? Step two, what are the steps that need to be taking that you should be taking right now to be to get yourself healthier? Now that might be changing your diets, that may be adding some exercise, sleep regimens, you know, how much fluids, what type of fluids, how much water, you know, those sort of things need to be addressed for your specific needs. Is there supplementation you should be taking, nutrients, um, minerals, herbs, vitamins, what is it specific to your needs? And then there needs to be a follow-up sequence as well to make sure you're moving in the right direction. Just because you feel good doesn't mean you're healthy. So these steps have to be taken place to put yourself in the best opportunity to protect yourself from future problems, future diseases, future sickness, and of course, potentially future pandemics or other issues that are gonna come down the road because we know they're gonna happen. The only option we have is to take our health into our own hands. Please do not rely on someone else to, to take care of you. You've gotta do it yourself. If you are looking for help and guidance on how you can do this and what needs to be done for you, reach out to our office. I'm more than happy to sit down with you um, virtually or in person, whatever you feel more comfortable with, to talk about your specific situation, to see if there's something that can be done for you right now to help you live the best life that you have the ability to live, the best quality of life from now to the rest of the year. Don't only invest into your financial future, invest into your health as well because it will pay dividends into the future. Listen, if this information is valuable and you feel like it's worth your while and it's something that you got some good um, data from and you felt that it was good, um, good information for you to hear and it's going to guide you in the right steps, you know, please let me know. Comments below the video, like our page, uh, make sure you share it to your social media. Maybe someone else is kind of in this place, they don't know what to do, where to go, and they're looking for some guidance. Maybe this video will put them in the right step. So. Again, I hope you guys have a wonderful holiday season. Um, you're, you're having a fantastic day. And um, if there's anything that I can do for you in the future, please let me know. I'll put my contact information at the bottom of the video as I do on all my videos. And if you're looking to meet with me one-on-one, -on -one, I'd be more than happy to sit down and talk with you. Have a great rest of your day. I look forward to talking in the future. Take care.